Hi Twin Flames, it's Lisey and I've got a very special reading for you today. Um, we're going to be continuing my series on water and if you missed my last reading on the water aspect of um, what you're moving through in the Twin Flame Collective, please visit uh, my, my YouTube channel after this reading and check that out. So um, this is a continuation of my water series which is coming about in the Leo season um, as we head into Virgo season to kind of like integrate and nourish and kind of cool down some of this fiery energy that's running through the collective and cool down doesn't mean uh, wash away it just means to like really integrate it like really um, temper it so that you can continue to benefit from it for this reading we're going to be joined by Lapis Lazuli and we've got Aquamarine here as well as celestite. So these stones are going to be enhancing the channeling abilities of the reading. We're gonna be pulling cards from the Whispers of the Ocean Oracle by Angela Hartfield. So let's begin. So I almost forgot this beautiful shell. This has huge meaning for me. Um, I found this shell on the beach the weekend that I was attaining, attaining my Master Certified Ascension Coach uh, status and I was taking my oath and so what that means to take that oath is that I have chosen uh, to be an ascension coach I've, I've chosen to accept my life purpose like this is what I was born to do I am born to guide you on your twin flame journey so if you want to work with me I've got lots of different options of where you can start I've got some groups I've got individual sessions you can check everything out in the description box under this video so let's begin. So the first card, cute little turtle. We've got a drift in shallow water. Let's zoom in just a bit so you can get a sense of the image there. A drift in shallow water. Take a few deep breaths and reconnect to your inner peace. Notice the small things and appreciate them. This is really coming into your presence with the fiery energy that Leo season and the Lion's Gate and the Perseid meter shower brought. Um, this can kind of, if you're not used to it, it can knock you out of your peace, out of your presence, because a lot of people tend to get spiritually high from things like that. So I want you to um, really like ground, and the best way to do that is coming into your body, coming into your presence, and you know, just really, you don't want to get spiritually high. You want to ground. You want to be at peace because you don't want to, you know, go up really high and then crash and have another dark night of the soul. That's where dark nights of the soul come from, is from not grounding. Life is better together. Seek assistance from your community, connect with family, friends, or others who will support you. It can be as simple as making a phone call. So this deck may have been produced when people were still talking on the phone, and I know some of you make phone calls still, but I do want to share what this talks about in the Twin Flame journey is that when you try to talk to your friends and family who aren't on the journey about Twin Flames, you're going to be met with some resistance because Spirit, God, wakes individuals up to their Twin Flame journey based on what you're calling in and desiring, and not everybody has woken up to their Twin Flame journey. That's okay. It's not your job to wake them up, but you still need and require support. So if you're not part of the Twin Flames Universe Open Forum on Facebook, go join that. Get your support. Also, this is a great opportunity if you're ready to heal so that you can be with your Twin Flame on Earth, join one of my Twin Flame Ascension Coaching Groups. This is a great way for you to heal alongside others as I guide you through the mirror exercise. And being with others sends a powerful message to the universe that you're ready and it's, it fast tracks your union. Here's another card. Replacing what was lost. You have now you now have the opportunity to rejuvenate and start anew. Create with a new perspective or outlook. This card may also indicate abundance is on the horizon. Yes, starfish. Thank you. So it's important for you to let go of limiting beliefs about yourself and your abundance. Accept that you already have all of God's love, all of your abundance, it's already yours. You're just letting go of the limiting beliefs that are pushing it away. Like God's holding out a, a, his hands and holding a giant coffer of gold, a giant chest of gold. 
and do you accept it? So it wasn't actually lost, right? Like the, it's, it's going to feel like you're replacing what was lost. And that goes for your harmonious twin flame union also. Um, but it's not just about that. It's about all parts of your life, your divine life here on earth, your divine being. And you're on earth here to have a divine experience on earth. Last but not least, we have resilience. Card number one, there is no need to rush or push. This is a time to take things as they come. You have the determination and patience to handle what is happening. So this is really talking to the energy of why I wanted to pull cards uh, surrounding water to kind of cool things down a bit. Because a lot of you are trying, you're, you're noticing that uh, you can do the inner work. You can watch Twin Flame Ascension School classes, which are very high vibrational classes. And each class is imbued with potent spiritual energy that you receive as a download and as you know knowledge right and understanding with both the e the west and the east sides of your brain the the left and right hemispheres of your brain um receive the guidance that jeff and shalia imbue in their course but some of you have like gotten so like ecstatic about it because it's exciting it's great you're healing it's it's like nothing you've ever experienced before um, and it's like kind of like you're, there's almost like an addictive quality because it's so good that you need to start to to follow the rhythm of your healing because a lot of people um, can shock themselves with this powerful healing energy. It's not going to go anywhere. You're not going to lose anything. It's not a race. There's eternity. You're, you're only in one eternal moment all the time. You don't have to slow yourself down. But you don't have to gobble something up as if it's going to leave at any second because it's not. Um, if you try to super shock your system, your emotional or spiritual emotional system, you can experience um, some great contrast. Because when you supercharge your, your path, you're calling in everything out of alignment with love within your own consciousness. And if you want to go fast, that's fine. But you're going to have to face these things and it can feel very challenging and I highly recommend um, taking some time to integrate so that you can really flow with your healing process. Like think of it as an inhale and an exhale process. Don't slow yourself down, you know, but understand that uh, the expression slow means fast kind of comes out. Like you're not going slow. You're just, you're making sure that you're taking it nice and steady. I'm going to pull another card if you like. <laughs> this is cute. All right, dancing in the rainbow, break free from whatever you feel is holding you back. Express happiness and find out what you truly desire. That's really important. If you're not taking the time to find out what you desire, um, then then do so. So one example that Jeff and Shalia share in life purpose class, which is important because you and your twin flame share one life purpose, is you ask yourself, if you had unlimited wealth and unlimited time, what would you do? Right. Like if you had unlimited for me, it feels like time is more of the constraint than than wealth because that I, I don't feel like I have time for everything I want to do. And, um, and so I wrote down a list of all the things that I would do if I had the time and you can start to do some of those things and the rest falls into place. So if you don't have a plan, if you don't know what you desire, well, the external world will put things in place for you and then you won't be happy. So don't let something outside of you. Uh, dictate your desires for you. You sit down and command your life and choose what you desire. You don't go snatch it. You just, you choose it. You write it down. You make an inner dialogue and then you heal to bring those things and magnetize those things into your life. It's a little bit of a different energy than going out and getting something. Okay, fine. One more card. One more card. We got a cute little eel. Some of you are like, ew. Convey your meaning. Reflect on the way you communicate with others and with yourself. That second part with yourself is very important. Be sure to express your thoughts and feelings from your heart with respect and sincerity. Yes, if you need to slow down to take some time to do that, then, then do so. But um, as for me, I do not receive people who treat me without respect or dignity. If they want to communicate with me, I will not accept if they communicate with me in any way that is disrespectful of them or with me. So that goes along hand in hand with some boundaries that you're being invited to partake in. 
So I think this feels complete now. Thank you so much for being present during this reading. Take those next steps that I shared with you. Go under this, uh, this video in the description box and find some links that will guide you to some next steps that you would feel comfortable taking. Visit TwinFlamesUniverse.com, request me as a coach, or um, you can find that their free Twin Flame Ascension e-course, or you can just join the school. You don't have to wait. If you're like, I don't, I don't really want to wait. I don't want the free stuff. I'm ready for the real stuff. You can do that too. So thank you so much, and I will see you in my next reading. Bye-bye.